I've an awful feeling about this. You'll be hurt out there. I couldn't handle that. I'll be careful, I promise. And when I'm flush with coin and set up, I'll send for you. I will. Caroline, come away! Don't exert yourself! I can't promise I'll come, Edward. If you leave on this fool's errand, I, I cannot promise anything. Don't give up on me, Caroline. Not when I need your faith the most. Putting some shape to your sentiments? Just a short letter home. I reckon she's past caring anyway. Oh, you're a hard heart that should be softer. Or soft in parts that should be hard. <laughs> and how is it you're so keen for his hard parts, Mr. Rackham? You'd like to know my secrets, would you? Oh, aye. Give me a small hint, like. Or a large one, if you're an upright gentleman. Open your hand. Oh. Who's shooting? Might be them ships sliding into port. Jesus. Well, I'll be hanged. George has grown tired of our shenanigans. Who's the grim fella? That's Captain Woods Rogers. Not a man I want seeing my face. We desire a parley with the men who call themselves governors of this island. Charles Vane, Ben Hornigold, and Ed Thatch. Come forth, if you please. Hear about the King's pardon, I reckon. What the hell is Hornigold doing? <sighs> Lily living punk! What are you men up to? I am grateful for your geniality, Captain Hornigold. I assumed our reception would be a troubled one. Don't mistake my decorum for deference, Governor. I'm eager to hear what you have to say, but of uncertain mind otherwise. Very well put. And it's a fairer shake than I expected to see from any pirate. But I promise fair treatment to all who hear me out. Only wait a while longer, Governor Rogers. Right. These rascals will show their true colors in time. Calm, Commodore Chamberlain. I have given Captain Hornigold my word that we will be equitable. This won't do you a little good. Men like him are a blight on His Majesty's reputation and a peculiar cancer. <laughs> Vane, the governor's come calling. Bring Burgess and Cork for him as well. Man out, lads, and take this dainty town for your own. King has been particularly ineffective in bringing about this change, hasn't he? And has failed at all attempts until now. Careful how you talk about His Majesty, Governor. You're here at his pleasure. I have my methods, Commodore, and I expect you to honor them to the letter. Make 
way for the king's emissaries. Out of the way, you bastards. Go on. Our only aim here is to treat with the masters of this community. All others are encouraged to go about their usual business. Go on, move! Go! Commodore Chamberlain, we see that all merchants, masons, and carpenters are rounded up and brought to me this afternoon. We must see about repairing this fortress. You should be confiscating weapons, Governor. Send these pirates a clear, strong message that the King's emissaries are not to be trifled with. I have no wish to stir up any here, Commodore. So well armed, we are outnumbered by a decent margin. Slow persuasion is our best and most efficient weapon. Portal, Governor! We should sink every goddamn ship not flying the King's colors. To do otherwise protects a certain weakness in our bearing. Silence, Commodore! I am the goddamn governor here, serving at the king's pleasure, and I will make the bloody decisions. Is that clear, sir? Aye, sir. Your wishes are clear as crystal. can make men of these monkeys yet. I do not. Return to your post and await my orders. before the 5th of January, next ensuing, and we do hereby strictly charge and command all our admirals, captains, and other officers at sea, and all our governors and commanders of any forts, castles, or other places in our plantations, 
and all our officers, civil and military, to seize and take such of the pirates who shall refuse or neglect to surrender themselves accordingly. I pray you take the prudent course, gentlemen, and accept the king's pardon as soon as your hearts allow. For until such time, all of you will be confined in Nassau. I am sorry for this. But in lieu of a public trial, this pardon is your best bet. The governor puts it far too brightly, maggots. Take this message home. Accept the king's protection forthwith, or we will raise this town to its foundation and stretch your bloody necks. Peace, Commodore Chamberlain. We are messengers, not executioners. Not yet. Oh, thank you, sir. God save you. Look on this as a stroke of fortune, lads. We should take the king's pardon and salvage what dignity we Peace. own. I'll be hanged before I surrender to that bobbin. Check your head, Vane. We had here a rare opportunity, a chance to take something base and shape it into a government made and maintained by men of vision. But in two years, we pissed it away. I won't make that mistake again. It's truth he's telling, and you whelps can't handle it. But you, you folksal headed fuddlers. See you at the gallows. You'll all be dead, men! Bastards! I need a drink.